All right, I'm doing another test in my little boat here. First thing I'm noticing right away is that I don't have pedals. So I couldn't reverse pedal out of the canal here. I had to paddle, which is totally fine. Uh, it's not worth having pedals just to pedal backwards out of my parking spot. All right, I also brought an amp meter. So I'm gonna connect that across my switches and see how many amps I'm actually using. And hopefully I can get that on camera so I don't forget. Let me just back up and get straightened out here. Although while I'm at it, look how beautiful this place is. Oh my God, I love this place. And I keep having compulsion to pedal, but I have no pedals. There are no pedals, Jamie. Okay, uh, I gotta paddle, paddle backwards for a second here so I don't hit any mangroves. All right, well, as long as I steer, should be fine. First speed. All right, second speed. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I think that's a, that's a noticeable difference after I took that propeller out. All right, full power. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, I love this boat. Oh, this is so awesome. Oh, I love this boat. how quiet it is without the pedals now. You can still hear the motor a little bit. Okay, now I want to get this amp meter out and see... Oh, you know what? I need to turn my solar panels on. I just realized that. I was running on only battery and the sun's out. So yeah, now I'm running on I've got two solar panels charging the batteries all the time. And I've got two solar panels connected to the motor. And you know what? That should change my low speeds too. So right now, uh, the battery's totally disconnected. I'm running just on two solar panels. And if I, the sun is over there, so if I tilt my thing. Yeah. All right, let's see what the slow speed is like now that I've also got the solar panels on. Yeah, that is noticeably more. I need to remember to connect that solar panel switch. All right, second speed. Third speed should not make much of a difference because it's just uh, maximum power on the motor. However, with a bit of extra energy coming in from the solar panels, the battery should be able to maintain a slightly higher voltage. So it will have a slightly higher top speed with the solar panels on. All right, top speed. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, let's not get too far from home. Man, it's crazy how far I got just in that short period of time. Another thing I'm really happy about is the steering on this boat. It's just this, this little thing. It's got rack and pinion steering that's like un up, up under there. I'm not putting the camera down there right now. I don't want to get it wet.
half meter connected from here to there. I'm turn off my solar panel thing. So I want to see how many amps it uses just on the batteries. All right, so I got to turn off the camera. Hold on. Okay, I can do this with my hand. Now I just ignore the piece of yarn holding this together. Okay, touch that part to down there, and then touch this to right there, and we've got like. 22 amps on low speed. Oh, that sounds about right. Oh, good. That's, I think that's, yeah, that sounds good. All right, 30. Oh, we're going to go over 40 on the high speed. That's 34 on the medium speed. Ooh, high speed is going over 50. That's not a good sign. All right. High speed is over 50, but that was when I'm accelerating. So it's going to use more electricity while I'm accelerating. I'm not sure how much energy it's going to use when I'm actually going full speed. Uh, it'll it, it should be reduced, um, hmm. but I don't want to leave that amp meter connected because it's contact. I mean, just holding the contacts up to something that's doing 50 amps, it's going to melt something. Um, all right, what did, what did I say? 22:35. I should be able to. Hopefully this fast speed is somewhere around 50 though. That's definitely a little high for this motor because the motor's rated for 39, like 40 amps. Um, hmm. Maybe I should shrink my propeller a little bit. I don't know. the propeller off obviously I want to reduce the pitch on it a little well there are two different ways I could deal with this I could just shrink the blades a little bit somehow you know maybe trim off a bit on the ends or let's see, let's get a good view. reduce the pitch a bit that means go like this Higher pitch would be like this, lower pitch would be like that. Higher pitch is like switching to higher gears on your bike or your car, you know, it's like a higher gear. More this way is a lower gear. And uh, yeah, I kind of feel like I'm running in too high of a gear, which is overloading the motor. It's not real bad, like I could just deal with it. However, I, I don't want to reduce the life of the motor. And plus, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm wasting energy since the motor's not running at its optimum uh, RPMs, probably. So <clears throat> if I make it a little bit lower gear, then it should be able to spin easier. I might even get more propulsion with less power, which would be kind of nice. Um, I think that's the best choice, to try to change the pitch a little bit rather than just trim some off. So if I want to change the pitch a little bit, like I kind of need to file off a bit here and a bit there and just 
kind of try to get the thing a little bit more that way. That's a nice propeller. I made it out of fiberglass a few years ago. Nice thing about a fiberglass propeller is, you know, it's pretty easy to, to file it and sand it and change the shape a little. And if I really wanted to, I could add more fiberglass to this. So I could take away and add. Hopefully I don't have to add anything because that would be a pain in the butt. But it is, a, it is an option. Uh, before someone asks, uh, in case anyone missed it, I made this propeller by making a stepped plywood thing, standing one side, and that's the shape of each propeller blade. I could just, oh, you can actually see the outline. I waxed, waxed this really well, obviously, and then put fiberglass right along here, and that's the shape of each, each blade. Okay, I'm thinking I can grind off this back edge, kind of like up to this line. And I've drawn a line on each one, so I can make sure they're the same, hopefully. I just remembered I have this aluminum aluminum propeller, which has a lower pitch. So maybe I should put this on the boat and test it. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe I'll hold off on cutting that up. Just uh, give this a nice sanding, make sure it's nice and smooth. Make a fitting that fits in there. That's the same diameter as this. And then to mount it, I just need a hole. I can drill a hole through that. Oh, it's got a hole right there. So I'll need some mounting thing that comes up to the front of here because this helps hold the bearing in place. All right, let's do it. I'm pretty sure that if I take these over to a lathe, I can make something that'll fit in here and work. Okay. It's on there. So I can take this boat out for another test. As soon as the water level comes up, it's a mighty low tide right now. Huh. I could probably uh, smooth out the water flow a little bit by putting a little collar around up here. And I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it right now. So I'll do another test drive, check the amperage with my amp meter. Hopefully it'll use less power and go pretty close to the same speed. Of course, I don't actually have anything I've been using to measure speed other than, Ooh, it looks so fast. Yeah. All right, I'm back in the boat with the new propeller. Let's just do a couple quick tests. Oh, I turned my solar panels on. I wasn't expecting to get any energy, but I am getting a little bit. The motor's on. Uh, no, let's turn the solar panels off. Okay. Just battery power, low speed. Hmm. Well, I would say at low speed, that's that feels like it's faster than the old low speed. But that would make sense because the the propeller should work better at lower power. So probably the second speed is going to be noticeably faster too. That yeah, seems pretty good. All right, let's full speed it. Oh. <laughs> I, don't, I, I can't tell if it's any faster than before or not, but man, either way, it is, it is still cooking. Man, we are still moving either way. 
uh, so I was hoping that when I change that propeller, I'm reducing the amount of power the motor uses. And I brought my little amp meter. So I'm going to connect that, check the power again. If I remember correctly, the low speed was 22 amps. Let's see if I can hold this in place there. I think it was like, like so. No, wrong way. This way. Well, it's like 20 amps. So there is a reduction in power. And I think I'm actually going... Come on, stay. I think I'm actually going faster at this speed. Yeah, if I look over here, it's right about 20 amps. All right, let's get second speed. Uh, like 32. Uh, like 31. 31 about. And it was 35 before, so I'm definitely saving some power. Uh, I, don't, I don't really want to use this on the, the full speed. Because it's still going to be pretty high for this thing. I don't know, let me, let me put the camera down. And I'll do it with both hands so I can get a really good contact. Alright, that's that's medium speed. So now I just need to touch this from here up to there. Yeah, between this and that. Alright. Let me do it off camera. Well, it's still maxing out my little meter here. So it's above 50. It's, it's got to be better than it was though. Because the lower speeds, it went from 22 to 20. Is that what it was? And then the second speed went from 35 down to 31. So it's an improvement and there doesn't seem to be any noticeable decrease in speed at the high speed. High speed still seems, I don't know, it just seems fast. So uh, I guess I'm going to go with this propeller for a while. Uh, go have some fun. All right. First speed. Second speed. So this is 30, what, 31 amps, right? Uh, with a 100 amp hour thing, that means I could do this speed for three hours. Oh, you know what else I need to check? So at this speed, there is electricity going through my speed controller here. Yeah, not the front part, just the back part. And it is definitely hotter than I want to touch, but the bolts up here are not too hot. It gets pretty hot, but yeah, the bolts aren't getting too hot. So it's not going to melt anything up here. Yeah, I think it's fine. So anyway, this speed, which is actually a pretty good speed, I can do this for I say three hours? Over three hours. Yeah, I can do this for over three hours. And then this speed is a somewhat... Oh god, that's crazy fast. It's just a somewhat unknown amount of power. I'm not like 50, 60. Well, it's over 50 amps anyway. I'm just going to estimate 60 amps. Okay, back inside where I don't have to worry about the wind messing up the microphone. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, so I'm, I think I'm pretty happy with how it's going right now. Um, I can still add some speed to the boat, obviously, if I get the barnacles off the bottom. They're almost all off. And, you know, there's a little bit left. So if I get those off, I'll get a bit more speed. And if I did something around the propeller, like in front of the propeller and behind the propeller, like behind the propeller, maybe make maybe cut off that pipe so it's not sticking out so far and make a bit of a cone just so it's more streamlined and then in front of the pipe just put a collar so it's it's just just streamline the whole thing you know um, but it, it's working pretty well and the lower speeds so I'm definitely getting more speed at the lower speeds with this with the lower pitch propeller which was to be expected because at a lower pitch with less power you'll have better performance than with a, something that's kind of pitched for a higher power thing. Uh, I did consider briefly just using the old propeller with the higher pitch and putting in a bigger motor because I have 
the motor out there is a one horsepower and I have a one and a half horsepower motor which you know by my rough estimation would probably m m pr like pretty well match that faster the higher pitch propeller um, man that thing would go like crazy with that on it I bet however I'm not going for maximum speed I need I need good speed over long distance so I want to keep the same size motor and I'll use the lower pitch mo uh, propeller and another thing that I'm very much enjoying is, is getting the boat in and out of the water without the pedal propeller. Man, I could not get the boat out in the, in the water level I did today and yesterday with, you know, before when I had the pedals on because the pedal, pedal propeller would have totally bottomed out and hit the bottom and gotten wrecked. So that's really nice. The, the tide was actually still pretty low when I got the boat out and I got it out no problem. So that's very exciting. Um, yeah, other than that, I think I'm just going to shut up. Although, next, I have got headlights to put on the boat. On both boats. I have a bunch of them. Oh, that's exciting business. But that's for future.